fortunate my first year. Um, my doctoral advisor did a good job of educating me on not only the kind of topics that I don't want to address in the dissertation if I want to get done, but what I want to do as an assistant professor if I want to get tenure. So my first year, very first year as assistant professor, I applied for grants just because I had someone to tell me to do it who said I could do it, and no one told me I couldn't. I didn't have enough sense to know that you're not supposed to do that in the first year. So I was silly enough to put in an application to the State Department of Tennessee, and I got a grant. I got a grant to study the kinds of issues that were really important to me. For the first time in my entire life, I was able to sit down and map out a study that I was interested in, really interested in. So I decided, why not go back to that list of questions from graduate school and just start working your way through some of them. One of them was about how students of color on college campuses make it. So with this state grant, I had to promise two things. One, that I would conduct research. That was my research objective. I would answer some question that was important. Let's just generally say that the question was, I wouldn't understand the impact of race on college students. The second question was not a research objective, but an outreach objective. That is, consistent with the Center on Freedom, and consistent with the organization on multicultural centers, I had to promise the state that I would not only conduct research, but that that research would lead to some impact or some change or some social justice activity for someone in the state who mattered. So I promised that I would use all this information to go to low poverty schools or high poverty schools and work with teachers. Because I kind of knew that in order to succeed in college, you couldn't start in college. You had to start before college. So I was going to go to a high school, select the high schools throughout the state, and help teachers learn from my findings. So I'm starting in 2005 when I was a first year assistant professor, and I want to talk about just one student I met during my journey during this grant. I often like talking about him. If you've ever heard me speak in a, a national conference, I often rely on him because I learned so much. He deserves a book, but I just don't have time.